Hello, and this is JS Dunway, and today I'd like to demo a JavaScript web application and based on E3 JavaScript API and ArcGIS Online and also JavaScript and web application template, basic view template. Now, let's take a look at the web application and I want to demo. Okay. This uh, E3 JavaScript API web application is based on basic view. And uh, here I I I I want to emphasize I today what I have done is this uh, finder here you can put uh, uh, you can search your address and uh, places and uh, for example I used to go to a uh, school to play basketball I want to find that school. Now it's Crestwood School, so I find that school. Okay, you can also want to find uh, any. Yeah, you type. Uh, you don't know the house number, but uh, you know that uh, street. You could type the street. You will pop up, and uh, you can select, and uh, you can zoom in. And uh, you when you zoom in more, if I want to see, you can see you find exactly location precisely. Or for example, you know the place, uh, or uh, you know the uh, uh, address. You can just type. It will, uh, it will shorten the list. And oh, I see the tutorial street. So. You find exact location. How about you just if you go to here, like just online, but you cannot find the exact location precisely, but just roughly because E3 geo code uh, services is based on I think sent street lines. So that's the reason. I create my own finder, use my own geocode and uh, geoprocessing service. So now I'd like to introduce how can I create this web application. Actually, it's very easy. You just uh, you just need a uh, access uh, online subscription. And uh, anyone can get a uh, 30 days uh, trial version. You can try. And uh, so I have, I already logged in. So I have this ArcGIS Online. <coughs> so I have this ArcGIS Online uh, map created here. I said you can uh, never use the uh, E3. Um, base map, topographic, or this can be changed later. And you can overlay by using your own uh, layer. You just uh, add. You can use different way, but uh, I use, because I have ArcGIS server, so I can create my own web service. I, I add here. Here you just need to um, copy your REST API URL, REST URL here. And you and paste it here, and you're done because I already done. And also, when you add your nail, you can configure it. And uh, for example, you can configure pop up and the shoe legend or not shoe legend. And here you can and uh, transparency layer, transparency visibility, skip and set a visibility range and a lot of stuff here you can set okay but uh, because i want to host uh, my web location on my own server so 
you need to copy this web map ID and go to this and you because you download the basic view template you have the source code you just need to modify this paste that web web ID here okay so you get exactly the same map as you get from ArcGIS Online now we go back to this customize tools so okay I create this customer tool it's a floating panel and there is a box text box and uh, all uh, all of this stuff it's a uh, very easy and uh, you go to here and you just create your own uh, find widget and you uh, have a, a floating panel first and then the important things you need and the plug into your own uh, address and the city facility your code server your present services here and uh, and uh, you then you will get your search you can get the exact location precisely here so let's search something else oh, so where is the south region recreation center let's see it's here and you can zoom in have a overview and zoom, zoom out and zoom in as easy okay so because there is an overview map is here that's out of box function and uh, share with email, Facebook, Twitter, and mirror. You can mirror area distance, and you can get the cursors and uh, longitude and latitude or in DMZ, DMZ, DMS, and uh, you can change different base map easily. Okay, why well, open speed? Okay, change and also for base map, you can create your own base map. So I use the airfoot as a base map, so I, I, I will not. Uh, uh, we are not uh, introduce how to I uh, create this, and uh, but uh, maybe next time. The layer you can put uh, many layers here, and uh, and uh, here print you can print PDF, image, and all of these are after box function, and also there is a location widget, and you can locate your location, and. Now, this direction widget. How can, for example, I want to find uh, this is from E3 direction widget, so I want to. Um, do we, I'm not sure, do we have this location? So, I know we have City Hall, and can we get. Uh, because this uh, is uh, subscribed services, because uh, if you want, if you don't have your own uh, the uh, geo process and that uh, network analyze geo processing service, you need to use E three, and you will need to sign on uh, ArcGIS Online. So let's see. Yes. Let's put in my password here. So you can get a ten by ten direction and very nice. You you don't need to do the, uh, too much. Because you just use that U3 direction widget and you just use this and use a little bit of customization in your JavaScript application. It will be a 
will be there. So I I think ne maybe next time I will uh, create my own network geoprocess and services. So I will get my uh, write my own direction widget. So I don't need each time. Uh, I don't need to consume the the ArcGIS online credit, and uh, because that it will cost money. So for this one, because I use my own, so I don't need to sign on ArcGIS online. And uh, the important thing is I don't need to get, uh, consume uh, ArcGIS online credit. Uh, use my ArcGIS online credit. So very nice. And here, and one more is detail. You can put is easily out of box function. You can put a uh, detail dis uh, description what uh, this uh, web application is doing and what function available, how to use them, and a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, I think uh, that's it for today. And thank you very much for your watching. And have a great day. And see you next time. Let's stop.